So I was driving up to Boulder today and I found this really cool new feature that actually nobody that I've seen has mentioned anything about. Uh, it's something that I actually kind of saw by accident. Um, I know in the past, autopilot has not done well when two lanes converge into one or break apart. So when you have like a lane coming from the left and you both merge into one to go straight. And today I actually found out that 2018.10.4 has what like I would maybe call like adaptive lanes. I don't know, basically it is recognizing that lanes can change width and go from really wide down to really narrow. And in the old autopilot updates, I have never seen this. I have gone through my old footage, which I actually have right here, that I am looking at and double checked, triple checked, and I couldn't find it in any of my old footage. I really think this is an added new feature, but this just goes to show you that Tesla's autopilot is gonna get better and better. This could be the next step in something for maybe enhanced autopilot or anything like that. Checked with David's car, we've checked with Scott's car, both are doing it. Neither one of them did purchase full self-driving, I did. Um, so it is not a full self-driving feature, it is an enhanced autopilot feature. But it's really cool to see them do this because this is a step in the right direction to being able to recognize when one lane becomes two or two lanes become one. So like actually in one of these instances before I actually started filming, I noticed this and when I was zippering with cars coming in from the left and I was in the right lane, uh, we were zippering and I was in autopilot and the car actually zippered on its own. So that was actually kind of cool. It recognized somehow, I don't know if it was a fluke or not, I'm gonna have to test it a whole bunch, but I wanted to bring you guys this because I haven't seen it. Let me know if you guys have seen it down in the comment section below. Comment if you've noticed it or if you haven't noticed it, try it out, it's kind of cool. But basically, uh, I have this clip here from an intersection that I've been testing, a video on that coming soon. Now, I have slowed down these clips to about 50% speed, but here I wanted to show you guys exactly what's happening. So I'm gonna loop through this clip a couple times. So the first one, I want you to focus in on the one on the left, 2018.6.1. You can see the lanes, it loses it all over the place, but they never actually widen or anything. It does finally recognize two lanes, but it doesn't widen. Now I want you to look at 2018.10.4 on the right side, you can actually see right about here, it widens a little bit, and then it realizes, oh, it's one lane, and you can see it kind of come back together. And now I'll go ahead and play them both all together so you can look at whichever ones you want, compare and contrast as you might. So this just goes to show you that 2018.6.1 was not doing this and it is brand new, introduced to 2018.10.4. So now I kinda wanna go into what I saw today. And I actually had my camera so I quickly hooked them up uh, I was holding my big camera, I didn't have it mounted, so it's a little shaky. Uh, I wasn't expecting I'm filming anything on this drive. It just came up and I was like, I gotta film this, I gotta talk about this, because this is freaking awesome. So, here we are, and you can actually see several times where it does this. I recorded at least three instances, but it really just starts when two lanes converge to one, or even the other way, when one goes to two you can see it widens itself and then once it goes its direction it goes back down but it's very gradual but it's really cool to see i'm really excited i actually think this is going to be helping tesla on their side and it's keeping itself centered instead of kind of picking one side or the other if it's a wide lane it actually knows how to handle it now before it didn't uh, definitely let me know down below if you have noticed this in your 2018.10.4 update or even beyond um, I know that the Model 3 and the new MCU Model S and X are on like 2018.10.2 now. Uh, they were on .1, but it actually ended up bricking some cars, so they changed it. As always though, if you're looking for a Tesla, check out our website, teslainventory.com. And if you're looking for a new or inventory Model S or X, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below or at the top of our website. Doing so will actually get you free unlimited supercharging, which is a great perk to have, especially if you do a lot of road trips. And if you do use our code, certainly send me an email through the website. That way I have your contact information. So when we take delivery of our next gen roadster, we can invite you guys out, do test rides, test drives, because really without your support, none of this would be possible. As always though, definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Go and click here to subscribe, here for some other videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I was just